Hi there and welcome to a new video on my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in guys. As you can see today's video is sponsored by Easel. Easel was kind enough to send over some ball screws and other components for the do-it-yourself CNC community project. So thank you Easel for sponsoring this video. And as you can see I'm starting with uh, showing off the machine's surfaces on the ball screws. The ball screw right here is the 25 millimeter ball screw with 10 millimeter pitch. All the specs are actually shown in the video clip, as you can see right there. Uh, next are the two 20 millimeter ball screws, also with 10 millimeter pitch. And the machine surfaces on the ball screws are just gorgeous <laughs> they are so cleanly machined um it's just awesome yeah and then the next ball screw that i'm going to show is the 16 millimeter this one right here is also the 20 millimeter all ball screws that easel produces are uh, made of made out of CF53 steel and they are inductively hardened to HRC 60 plus minus 2 um, and the spindle pitches are or they are available in 5 10 and 20 millimeter pitch at least the um, 16 20 and 25 millimeter spindles the 12 millimeter millimeter spindles are only available uh, in two and a half and five millimeter pitch and the uh, ant machining that I got is up to easel standard but if you have uh, some special kind of application for your um, ball screws then you actually can send easel a technical drawing on, on the ant machining that you actually need and they will machine it for you also all spindles that i got or all ball screws that i got are machined up to tolerance class 7. Uh, next part that i'm showing off is the flange style mounting um, mounting block for the ball screw nut as you can see it's a pretty beefy piece made out of steel this one is actually for the 25 millimeter ball screw. Uh, yeah, pretty nice machine. The tolerances are pretty tight. Um, that's how it's supposed to be. All the ball screw nuts that I got from Easel are uh, with a single path return which is for average use but they also offer the option f uh, with complete ball return which is for high stress and also um, they offer plastic ball screw nuts for light stress uh, the next two parts that I'm showing right here are the dirt scrapers for the ball screw nut um, on a later point in the video I'm going to show you guys how to install them onto the ball screw nut. Next up is the uh, square mounting block or clamping block for the 20 millimeter ball screw nut. Also pretty beefy piece of steel. Really well machined. Um, yeah really nice quality and I'm really not saying this because easel is sponsoring this video um, I'm saying this because this is my honest opinion because all the components that I got from easel are um, very well machined and easel really provides a very high standard of quality
Then next up are the two 20 millimeter ball screw nuts. Um, basically the same as the 25 millimeter, just a bit smaller. Unfortunately, you can't read <laughs> because of the light uh, what's on the plastic badge, but if you look closely inside, you can see that is um, that's the plastic redirection of the ball bearings. And then we have the um, square clamping block for the 60 millimeter ball screw nut. Basically the same as the 20 millimeter square clamping block, just a bit smaller. <coughs> and then of course the 60 millimeter ball screw nut. Here you also can see how nicely machined all the parts or components are that easel provides. And I really can't wait uh, to finish my CNC machine and put the components or assemble them onto the machine and uh, see how they perform. Here we have some more dirt scrapers uh, for 20 and 60 millimeter ball screw nuts. And then last but not least are the locking nuts for the ball screws itself. Um, they are essentially there to preload uh, the angular contact bearings on the fixed bearing side of the ball screw. And then we have just uh, a small instruction manual and uh, data sheet for the ball screw nuts and ball screws. Yeah, pretty nice package. And this is essentially what I got from Easel for my community or do-it-yourself CNC project. Next up is the assembly of the ball screw nut or the dirt. First of all, um, I'm going to install the dirt scrapers onto the ball screw nut. This is on the 25 millimeter ball screw nut. So what you want to do first is to remove the O-ring on one side and then carefully push the bushing back into the um, ball screw nut but not all the way through because if you do so you will lose all the bearing balls inside of the ball screw nut. Um, and here is where you want to pay attention to the dirt scraper because the dirt scraper is on one side thicker than on the other one and the thicker side has to point outside of the um, ball screw nut housing and this is I don't know if you can see it in, in the video but the housing, uh, the outside of the groove is thicker than the inside. 
and this is how you install uh, the dirt scrapers same for the other side but here you have to um, pay attention to the flat spot on the dirt scraper because the flat spot has to align with the bore in the um, ball screw nut housing and the rest is basically the same as, uh, as on the first dirt scraper that I installed That's basically it. That's how you install the dirt scrapers onto the ball screw nuts. So next up is the flange style mounting block for the ball screw nut. First remove the cap. Then you have to remove the uh, set screws. I forgot to prepare my Allen key wrenches. Um, yeah, it's a four millimeter Allen key that you need there for the 25 millimeter flange style mounting block. Just remove those set screws and then you have to align the bore and the ball screw nut housing with the flange style um, mounting block. Then you have to wiggle it in, in a bit because the tolerances are really tight. And then you just align those two holes and first set screw goes in which actually fix fixates the ball screw nut inside the housing then second one second uh, set screw is for alignment and then last step is to screw back on the cap And then this subassembly is basically done. Next step is to assemble this assembly onto the ball screw itself. So there you also have to pay attention to the bushing that is installed inside of the ball screw nut. Because as you can see there's a turn feature on this side of the bushing. And this turn feature has to point away from the um, fixed bearing side of the ball screw and you just slide it onto the machine surface and slide the ball, ball screw nut until you feel a resistance and then you just start turning counterclockwise and this is how you install the ball screw nut onto the ball screw I actually really like this system um, because easel gives you plenty of adjustability inside of the system um, which, is which I really like and uh, yeah I really can't wait to get my machine finished and put all those components from easel in and see how they perform. So this wraps up this video. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys learned something on how to install ball screw nuts onto a ball screw with the easel system. Um, thanks for watching and I hope we will see us in the next one. Bye bye.